Hello, hello. I hope everyone is doing well. My name is Mackenzie with LaFontaine Classics. I have a 61 Pontiac Tempest. This is an XS code car with half of a 389. So this is a four cylinder with the three speed manual. It's a factory black over red Tempest. Come on in. We're going to get a closer look at this sport coupe. All right, we'll start this party in first gear here. Whoa. All right, a lot happening. Turning signal cancels on its own. Gearbox feels incredible. If you don't know, this has a transaxle. So we actually have a torque tube bolted to the back of this four banger, um, which leads power to the rear differential slash uh, transmission, which is pretty neat. And in case you didn't already know, the rear suspension is independent. It's got a nice, uh, set of half shafts back there. All right, clutch, transmission, all feel very good. That 155 horsepower feels very good. Down into fourth gear. The alignment's pretty dang good. All right, we're impressed. So I've never driven a car quite like it. The closest I could get maybe would be a Corvair, which is a completely different drivetrain. They share the similar shape maybe. Uh, this is quite awesome. This four cylinder revs up quite a bit quicker than the Boxer in that Corvair, I will say. Exhaust note is good too. Wow. That's uh, an American four cylinder. Very good. Just one cam. I like it. The torque and power are incredibly appropriate for the weight of this car. Um, yeah, I think the rest speaks for itself. It's very comfortable. This feels good. The steering position feels good. We have a gorgeous dash. All of our gators are working. We have a, a nice little shelf here. That pocket makes you feel like you're right at home. And this thing gets down in the turns. We'll see you guys back at the shop. So we're gonna get you guys an up close look here at the front end um, and kind of give you my two cents on what I'm seeing. So the car has a nice paint job on it. I imagine that was done within recent years, but the bright work, the chrome on the bumpers, there is just a little bit of age showing. Those are likely original, but they're in very good shape. This is a very cool grill. Their Tempest badge in there. And I've always loved cars with four headlights stacked out. Now our hood release is just under this chrome bumper. So this is Pontiac's 195 cubic inch four cylinder. This is a 389 whopped in half. It has a four barrel carburetor and makes 155 horsepower. Yes, this was the high performance model of this little Sport Coupe Tempest. So we have an aluminum radiator, a nice little expansion tank here. This one has a dual master cylinder and 12 volt charging system. Up underneath that air cleaner is a four barrel carburetor as I mentioned and this one has the original engine in it still so it is a numbers matching car. Our little sound deadening mat under here looks new and in very good shape and I'll show you guys how this baby closes up. With ease and it sits down in there very flush in between the fenders. Now we're going to go down the driver's side of this car it's a very, very tough looking black, really popping with those black steel wheels. It's got a Pontiac 
a motor division center cap in the middle. And in case you're wondering, this is a Sumitumo 185-65 on a 15-inch rim. And those tires look to be new. Very nice body lines. Mirror looks good. The door gaps look very nice. Nice flushed in fuel door on the side here. And a very, very unique tail end on this car. Beautiful tail lights. I love the punk spout all the way on the back of this thing. And we got a stainless tip on the right hand side down there. Look at that. Got full size spare, a jack. I love this red pattern mat here and an old article about this see there's just 1100 high performance excess code tempest made in the year 61 and this is one of those that is very cool have our little cargo lamp working for us as well very slick inside of the fenders looks good they look very straight and from what i can tell no patch nice Very clean down the passenger side of this car. Our bright work around the roof here, over the glass, all looks to be in very shape. And everywhere I've been able to see on this car, it looks like we still have the original glass, which is very cool. Ooh, baby. Look at all this red popping. All right, so we have a couple different shades of red. This looks awesome. Very tidy door cards. I love the white accent, and it's carried into these bucket seats. Very slick. They even have shoulder belts, and even better than that, we have a four-speed on the floor. Hell yeah. Down on the left-hand side, we've got our heater controls and your blower motor fan speed. Just up above that, we have our battery voltmeter, an oil pressure warning light, a speedo in the middle of things here going up to 120 and this ride is showing just 6,500 miles right now. Uh, we have a gas gauge, a coolant temp light, and then down over here we have our AM radio. Now I mentioned 6,500 miles. I got to assume that's probably rolled over once. Maybe since restoration we've had 6,500 miles, but it still looks very, very nice. I'll show you behind the glove box here. Have a, an owner's manual, which is pretty slick. Look how pretty that is, even in a four door. All right, now back here, beautiful bench. We got a couple of seat belts for everyone. We have a tiny little package tray up there. A um, couple of armrests, some window cranks, and a pretty decent amount of leg room with some cute little floor mats. In the center here, you might not have noticed, we do have a drink holder that has been added, which is kind of convenient. A few things to share with you before we get out of here. One, this is for sale. It is very cool. I haven't seen another one quite like it, and I think we'd be hard pressed to find it. If you want to know more about it, you can call us anytime. That number is 248 714 2110. We'll put that down in the description of this video, along with a link where you can go to our website to view the full listing, the full photo gallery, and get some more information on this car right here. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys. We'll see you soon.